no freaking money. So hopefully we get a boost or something. Oh my god, he's using Ninja's Village on me. He's using my own goddamn strategy. Take my freaking yellows. Okay. Yo, what is up guys? Boltrix here, back with a brand new video. And today, guys, we're gonna be playing some Ceramic Crucible. So let's get right into it, boys. So my last video did very, very well. I cannot thank you guys enough, for real. And thank you to everyone that subscribed to my best friend's channel. I really do appreciate that. If you guys don't know about it, I'll leave a link in the description below if you guys wanna go check him out. He makes like programming videos. Uh, so if you wanna follow him on his journey during that, feel free to subscribe. So, nonetheless, let's just get right into this video. Of course, it is Ceramic Crucible, I do apologize. But you know, I have not played CC in a minute, and I am the CC god, if you did not know, okay? I've actually never lost a game in Ceramic Crucible. It's, I know, it's, it sounds crazy, but it's the truth, okay? So we're actually gonna be skipping Swamp and Industrial Zone. Oh my god, I love this map, absolutely. Now, I'm, I'm, I hope you guys can sense my sarcasm, because I hate this map. We gotta go Boat Boomer, okay? It's just the most efficient strategy for this map, hands freaking down, go boat boom and farm, okay? So immediately we're gonna be starting off with the Eagle Amplifier, and thankfully this guy did not look that good too, so hopefully we can just get an easy victory um, for this one, boys. So of course, like I said, already used the Eagle Amplifier. Let's get on our first farm as well, and it looks like this guy has, oh my God, he has a spike factory, okay. Um... <laughs> What is he thinking? And he has no farm. So that means he's probably ecoing. But I'm gonna I'm just gonna be able to send him. Oh my what is he doing? He has no idea what he's doing. Oh my god, he got two spike factories down. I feel really, really bad right now, boys. But we might just get the quickest victory ever here. Because the spike factory is just not a good starting tower. So we're gonna put a lot of pressure on his side with a lot of freaking grid reds, boys. And he's just not gonna like it. He's gonna have to build up another tower to help. Okay, so there he goes. He has a wizard. All right. That is a really good sign, okay? We gotta use our Eagle Amplifier once again. I forgot to use it, actually. Uh, not too big of a deal, though, of course. Let's get off this plantation here. Um, but yeah, I was a little bit concerned. I was thinking that we were about to get, like, one of the fastest wins ever. <laughs> but thankfully, he set down his wizard. He also got the lightning on it, too. So he will be pretty set uh, for a while, definitely. So we're gonna be going for the Morbidness on this next 1-0 farm here. There we go. And then we're gonna be using our last Eco Amplifier, and then we're gonna have to eventually get up this Grave Shot because I can't even defend against the AI, which is kind of kind of sad, but I mean, you know, it's starting to get a little bit more intense for just the 0-0, so it's understandable. He actually sold that Spike Factory up top to upgrade the one at the bottom, I believe. So I'm gonna go for this Grave Shot here, uh, right there, cool, cool, cool. And then we're also gonna put this Bad Boy on close. We'll see how that does. I usually, I think I said it's a last, uh, but he's not sending us any type of eco whatsoever, so it's not too big of a deal. And I think it's gonna be pretty good for us on close with the AI only. We're just gonna have to focus on that. So he is indeed farming, actually. He just set down his first farm. Uh, so we are out farming him pretty hard. This is just gonna be an easy round 13 victory, I'm sure. Um, but he could also potentially rush us, so we're gonna have to watch out for that. There we go with our third plantation. And there he goes for his next one, zero. All right, he's getting back up, he's getting back up, but he has yet to use any type of powers as well. He might just have the default, I would not be surprised, but he did not set down his spike, or spikes, I mean. Um, so let's get up the one, zero once again. We're gonna have to watch out, of course, for round eight yellows, you know, that can definitely be an issue for us. Uh, so I might just get up my boomer, maybe, I don't know. I can't even defend against the AI either. I'm probably gonna struggle against round nine AI with the regen yellows. Uh, but I'm going to go for the next farm anyways because I just feel like he's not going to be aggressive whatsoever. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to go for the next 1-0 as well. He's just not sending us anything, boys. But, you know, he could just all out us round 13. It's going to be a super easy defend, of course, because we have the boomer, we have damage boost. Like, it's going to not be any uh, sort of issue. But yeah, we definitely got to watch out and be prepared for it, of course. So, oh, he's sending us some blacks now. I'm just going to immediately get up this uh, boomer then. And wow, yeah, that's not the greatest eh our placement really doesn't matter i usually set it down here i believe but it's whatever it's all good uh, so of course now we got that two three boomer um we're looking really well in the farms as well we probably could have went for like a round 10 freaking bia if you really wanted to but it's not too big of a deal so i'm not even gonna send him some region whites just yet i'm just going to maybe send him a little bit of a bait rush on round 13 i could just all out him too like there's just no way he's gonna be able to defend so let's get up crow's nest on this Let's get up a turbocharge just in case, because why the hell fucking not? 
and we're gonna see what brwa is going to do so nothing just yet nothing oh he went for the republic sorry what do you mean get out of here so he's just going to eat all of these regen rainbows it's just going to be amazing and yeah there's absolutely no way brwa is going to be able to defend that was a super super easy win gg i'm telling you boys most people cannot defend against round 13 rushes especially if they don't have efficient powers like this guy I know I see comments all the time, people struggling in like even lower arenas than Ceramic Crucible. You'll find opponents like these in Ceramic Crucible and you can get some easy medallions and easy wins. So GG, I will catch y'all in the next one. So we are back with our next opponent, Muhammad Harris, and he definitely looks a lot better. His actually, yeah, his record's pretty good actually. So we're gonna have to see uh, what that percentage is really quickly. 78%, all right, that's not bad whatsoever. Not the greatest badges though, but he has 1.5 million medallion. So it is definitely a decent amount for a CC opponent. Let's skip that map, of course. I do not like Shallow River. Concrete Alley, I am definitely down to play. Um, I probably will end up going tax sub. Yeah, or let's put sub first, then tack. Okay, yeah, I'm down to go sub tack. Let's freaking do it, boys. Of course, we're gonna be starting off with our eco amplifier immediately. Uh, so let's do that right as the game starts. Cool, cool, cool. And then let's get up our banana farmer. And Muhammad has yet to do anything. So um, I don't know. He might have salted wounds or something like that. We're gonna definitely have to watch out. But with us having the eco amplifier, it definitely should not be too big of an issue. Uh, do you guys think we should start off? Oh, he's gonna be ecoing. Okay, so since he's gonna be ecoing, I'm actually gonna start with the tax shooter. So I thought about not starting with that at first um just because i wanted to pop the ai balloons that were coming in but that's fine i want to pop the ai balloons as soon as possible so putting it at the beginning of the track is definitely a good freaking idea boys let's use our eco amplifier once again because if you guys anti-stall okay so pretty much if you don't know what anti-stalling is it's popping the balloons right as they come out the map okay so if you do this you're actually going to make the rounds end a lot quicker which is inefficient for eco users because Obviously, the eco comes in every five to six seconds. So time is definitely very, very important for someone that's going eco. Uh, so if you can make the game go a little bit faster, that will definitely hurt the opponent or your enemy or whatever you want to call them <laughs> that's going eco. So hopefully that makes sense. That is why I wanted to set my tax shooter. Oh, I did not mean to fucking set that. Okay. <laughs> but that is why I wanted to set my tax shooter somewhere around here and not a sub down here because it's not going to be able to pop the balloons right as they come out the map. But this tax shooter is definitely going to be able to pop them a lot quicker than a sub would be able to. If that makes any sense. I hope it does. I know some of you already understand this, but for those of you that don't, there you go. Hopefully you learned something new. I'm going to be going uh, for this next plantation here. And yeah, my farms honestly are dog shit right now. I've been playing pretty bad uh, just because I'm trying to explain anti-stall and everything. So um, I don't know. Bad part of me, but it's all good. We should be fine for the most part with these greens. Uh, we're going to be leaking lives here and there. And I saw that he has the improved eco boost. Um, so yeah, let's just get up a zero zero though. I'm going to get up a zero zero to help us out. Uh, with these space blacks oh my god i can't freaking talk let's get up this next one zero farm as well so obviously yeah we're gonna be leaking some lives here uh, but it's not efficient for him to be sending uh all those space blacks and all these greens too he has like literally no money uh for round eight so we're definitely gonna be pretty aggressive towards him uh this next round just because like i said yeah he has got no freaking money so hopefully we get a boost or something oh my god he's using ninja's village on me he's using my own goddamn strategy Take my freaking yellows. Okay, he's definitely gonna have to boost that. I don't know. Oh my god, he got the lightning power. Never mind. All right, but he's still. Wow, he leaked a decent amount of lives still, down to 91 lives. Uh, so that is definitely something to know that he has the lightning power. I want to be going for this here. Really? Gonna be super aggressive with this eco. Oh my god, I'm actually very very shocked that he's doing this. All we had to do was upgrade to another two three there. Uh, so that definitely was not an issue um we might just go for the sub down here yeah we're just gonna do that really quickly and okay we're gonna be able to get it oh my god yeah he's going fucking ninja oh my god he's going ninja's village on us boys so i'm going to immediately send this guy some fucking whites okay because we definitely want to get that um second lightning out of him which this definitely will okay he's looks like he's still going to be leaking lives possibly uh from that now we can send him a camo lead because he's gonna have to get up some camo detection with that village and I'm going to be aggressive once again with these because he still can't pop white. So there goes his last lightning after this. 
And yeah, I'm just gonna continue the aggression with these whites though, because there are a lot of balloons on the map. It looks like he's not gonna be able to defend it. Muhammad does indeed boost, and he goes down to our white rush G freaking G. He was just way too aggressive and Ninja's village using my own strategy. I know the weaknesses of the strategy, so I, uh, I kind of just showed you guys that, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, if they don't have the ice shards up, then they can't pop white balloons on round 11. And usually, a lot of people don't have very much money on round 11, so it's very smart to rush them. And we got his lightnings out of him pretty easily. So, GG, I will catch y'all in the last one. So, we're back with our next opponent, Danny Marks. Uh, looks like, you know, your average CC opponent hoping for a pretty good game against this guy. Um, we got the map interchange, so I'm gonna actually skip that. Just not feeling it because I usually go Dart Wiz and I'm, I don't wanna go Dart Wiz. Park. Alrighty, so on Park, we can go a lot of different strategies actually. Um, I'm down to go Cobra, okay? I never go Cobra, and Cobra can sometimes be fun to use, okay? Um, especially in CC. So I'm gonna go Cobra, Village, Bomb. It's a pretty good strategy. Obviously, we have the camera detection with our village and the bomb tower is a pretty good tower honestly with cluster bomb and everything cobras for offensive push or um, balloon adjusting so let's use our eco amplifier of course we're going to be getting down our cobra and let's get up the wired funds on them i usually like to get up two to three on round one and then of course we have to also eco so i'm kind of anti-stalling but i guess he is anyway so it really don't matter i, I completely forgot honestly so <laughs> my apologies on that we're just going to immediately start sending this guy some reds on round two and he should be sending us some balloons as well and it looks like he indeed is uh so we're going to be using the eco amplifier once again so let's use that now and let's also get up another cobra okay and we're also going to have to get up a bomb tower here so let's just do that now uh, to help us out obviously with all these reds and we should be pretty good for the most part up until round two we're probably going to have to get up a cluster bomb a cluster bomb is definitely going to help us tremendously so we're going to eventually have to do that let's get up another wired funzo on this cobra and yeah he's just chilling obviously uh with the powerful darts uh dartling gunner on his side so yeah he should be completely fine with pretty much everything uh for the meantime and oh my god sending us all of these holy shit okay so i'm going to set these to strong uh, just because there's a lot of space pinks okay that was quite a bit and yeah let's get up this cluster bomb now i'm gonna put this bad boy on close actually you want it on close i think i accidentally set yeah i wanted to set the cobras to strong not my bomb tower you want to put your cluster bomb on close okay that is probably the best targeting uh for it and he's being pretty aggressive with the space eagle which is definitely not a smart thing not a smart thing whatsoever boys you don't want to be doing that if you're ecoing because you're just inefficiently ecoing and you need to get up your eco as much as possible oh my lord this guy's going dartling village on me are you serious probably ice as well <laughs> so yeah we're definitely gonna fuck him up pretty hard uh eventually when we can use our balloon adjustment on our cobras you probably won't have the money to defend and it's going to be a gg that's what i'm hoping boys i mean our eco is looking pretty efficient right now too 450 or 460 that is on round six at the end of round six that's pretty good okay not gonna lie so i'm gonna try to get it up as much as possible we could even eco a little bit on round eight if we want um i might i'm not too sure just yet uh, but after we are done ecoing, that is the time to build up a lot more Cobras, okay? And obviously, too, we got to make sure before round 12, they hit, we have camo detection on our village for sure. Uh, because we are going to need that or else we're dead. So we got about 580 eco. I'm just going to wait until we get about 600 somewhere around there. And 607, okay, yeah. That is definitely a good amount for me. Let's start to build up a lot more Cobras now. So let's get this one right here. And obviously we just wanna upgrade them to the one zeros, the wired funds upgrade, okay? Because we're gonna get an extra $80 uh, with those, which is very, very nice. Uh, so there is that. We can also send him a lead. So let's do that. So he just used an improved ego boost as well, which I don't think is gonna actually help him at all because uh, he's not ecoing, so what? And there he goes with that lead detection upgrade on his Darling Gunner. Cool, cool, cool. So we're going to go for our village now. So I guess we'll just put it about right here. We're going to have to get up the 0-2 for our camera detection, which we sh definitely should get uh, before round 12 with our next income boost. And oh, no. Okay. We actually. Okay. All right. All righty. <laughs> so he thought he could get us with that. That definitely did not work out for him. I had to sell only one Cobra. I accidentally sold two, but that's fine. 
and there's no issues with that. Uh, we can just get this just to be safe. And yeah, now we're just gonna build up a lot of Cobras. We're probably gonna start adjusting him around like round 15, round 16. That definitely is a good round two rush. Um, okay. That was quite a bit of balloons, boys. So I just got off the balloon impact. He's being pretty aggressive with rushes and shit. So yeah, we're gonna definitely win this game if we properly adjust him. So I just wanted to get up the balloon impact just to stay on the safe side. You understand, boys? I hope you do. <laughs> so let's get up the wired funds here. And yeah, I'm gonna start adjusting now when I can. Uh, so let's start to upgrade these Cobras uh, to the two zero upgrades with the balloon adjustment, obviously. And yeah, he's definitely not gonna be liking this, boys, whatsoever. Um, and we're gonna see if he's gonna be able to defend. He probably will be able to defend this round. Uh, just because I don't have too many upgrades uh, with the balloon adjustment on my Cobras, which is fine. Uh, but eventually, he's going to not be able to defend, that is for sure. He's probably going to come at us with um, a Moab or something like that. Uh, but with our damage boost and everything, we definitely should be able to defend. Uh, so I'm not worrying too much. He could have quick shot it. Oh, I could have quick shot it too, like a ceramic or some sort. Or something like that, you know what I mean? I don't know why I didn't. Let's just send him a mob though. Especially with this AI, he's just not going to be able to defend. It's going to be way too freaking much for him. And over time, he's just going to die. Uh, if he sends us a mob, like I said, I'm probably just going to boost it. And yeah, here it comes. So let's just boost this now. And Danny Marks is most likely going to die um, to all of this. It's just too much for him to handle. And he is indeed dead. So you guys can definitely see the power of Cobra. I'm not the best Cobra user, but I think I know the basics pretty well. Uh, so if you ever want to use Cobra, I would definitely suggest a strategy like that. I know like you can incorporate the mortar if you would like instead of the village and stuff like that. You can play around with it a little bit. Uh, but yeah, that's going to wrap up the video. Hope you guys did indeed enjoy. Make sure to drop a like on the video if you did. And also, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to click that subscribe button. So the last question I asked you guys in the last video was, am I dating Trippy Pepper? Okay, it, there's obviously, that's an obvious answer. Of course, yes, I'm dating Trippy Pepper. So this guy won, congratulations, man. Yes, me and Trippy Pepper have been dating for about two and a half years. Um, so it's been a wonderful journey with him. I love him to death, okay? So, mwah, thank you, Trippy. All right, that was probably really cringe. <laughs> But congratulations on your shout out, man. So the next question I'm going to be asking you guys is, what's my best friend's name? Okay, so if you want to find out the answer, you got to click the link in the description to his channel and his name's on there. You probably, as you're there, you know, on his channel, you should definitely click the subscribe button. So if you want to figure out the answer, definitely do that. Make sure to leave your answers below in the comment section. And you may have the chance to win a shout out in the next video, which is obviously dope. I hope you boys did enjoy once again. It's been your boy, Bull Tricks or Justin. Peace out, everybody.